Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to do a top five apps 2011. The first app that I'm going to show you is called Weather. It is a cool weather application. It sits, it sits nice here on the menu bar on the top, and here up here it says how many degrees it has and also has a little icon where it says it is night on the day it'll be a sun and it brings a lot of clouds here if you have some and it says your current location here it says how many direct uh, Celsius you have the wind that uh, wind speed direction and all of the information you may need it also gives forecast for future days as you see tomorrow Thursday Friday and Saturday you, you can just refresh the data by just clicking refresh weather and it refreshes refreshes and you can also let it speak by just clicking speak current weather. temperature for Salzburg is 15 degrees current condition is fair as you see it's had all the information and on the preferences tab you just type in your location and it will automatically search for it you can also choose a matrix or a standard in the next app that I'm going to show you is also an app that sits really nice in your menu bar it's an email client so here you have it it's only for gmail uh, when you start it it's actually gonna automatically start with your gmail id that you're currently logged in it's not gonna ask for any information so here you see all your information in a nice clean interface you just click on something and it just opens and again very fast it's very responsive and here you can just refresh it it closes very smooth opens very smooth and here you can sign out and here down it says back preferences and here you can go <coughs> I refresh again and the next application that I'm going to show you <coughs> Is desktop Facebook this also sits on the menu bar here you see the Facebook Facebook icon well, here you can just go back and it's just your Facebook in a nice clean interface very good but you can chat so that's not the best but auto refresh is on you can also turn it off just by clicking it very simple just write anything uh, let's just say okay, board and just click on share and it shares it very easily you also have all the options as you have on the normal Facebook and you can also use the desktop view as you if you're on a desktop which again and now the next app that I'm going to show you is called <coughs> Spotify Spotify is a really cool application if you want to hear to music you can hear unlimited songs, I think about over a million songs. It's available in the US and the UK, but you can have a look at my video where you can get it in any country. Make sure to check that out. You try just type in your username, your password. I can't right now because <clears throat> I just today sent, I mean, gave my information foreign white so I'm gonna get it later 
the next application is called where it is let's just search it oh well that was all about it thanks for watching and i hope you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more updates